we'll let rescue go first. We are responding to a 30-year-old male. Uh, original call came as a possible laceration with profuse bleeding. And now we also have notes that saying somebody unseen is also having a heart attack. Um, notes just dropped, people are fighting. So we're gonna stage and wait for BSO to clear the scene. Let me let my rescue know. Battalion 6-3 to rescue 6-3. You, you copy the notes? Copy that. We're going to stage and wait for uh, BSO to go in. Battalion 6-3, dispatch, same traffic. So what we're doing now is because the scene's unsafe and we're getting notes that are saying that there's multiple fights going on, uh, we have to wait for our sheriff's office to come and clear the scene and make it safe for us to enter. So we're going to get as close as possible to the scene and stage and wait for BSO. Hey, sweetie. What what happened? Was he just beat up, or was yeah. he any any weapons involved or anything no, like that? No one involved. Okay. You know who it is? Pete. Pete, he was just beat up. They said no weapons were pulled on, anything like that. No bats, no knives, no. Huh. I'm going to help you up, OK? I'm going to help you up. You ready? Ready? One, two, three. So right now we have an adult male patient. Uh, he was involved in an assault. Uh, witnesses on scene say no weapons were involved, so this is primarily barehanded. One of our primary concerns as an assault is just to see if any weapons were involved, because then we have to look for punctures or penetrations from possible knife wounds or anything like that. Um, right now it just seems like it was just a uh, physical beating. Multiple people beat him up and he was unconscious. Um, Witnesses on scene confirm that's what happened. So we're gonna transport him to the nearest trauma facility. That's um, specifically where a patient like this would go um, for evaluation. Hey guys, I'm Matt Eisman from Live Rescue. Subscribe to A&E for more videos and catch full episodes on AETV.com.